All right, so now we're going to talk about the collaboration information systems, which are information systems that support collaboration. And just like any information system, they have five components, the hardware, the software, the data, the procedures, and the people. The hardware and the people are kind of as they seem on the tin. Hardware would just be the technology that everyone working on this project is using from their computers to the Wi-Fi network that they are relying on to whatever servers they're holding data or applications that they're using on. So all of that hardware is what we're talking about in the collaboration system. And then the people would be primarily the members of the team who are working together, who are collaborating in order to solve a problem. When we talk about software, we're talking about collaboration tools, mostly, as well as, of course, the other software aspects like operating systems and whatnot. But specifically for collaboration systems, we have collaboration tools, which allow people to collaborate. They allow people to work together. So that would be office software, especially collaborative office software. Uh, things like Microsoft Word Online or Google Docs or something like that, where you can not only work together in writing up documents, but you can also leave comments and stuff or revise other people's work. All that kind of thing would be a collaborative office software. And then you have calendar programs so people can coordinate their schedules, communication programs so people can actually talk when they're not face to face in a shared office space or whatever. The, you know, the programs like text messages, uh, Signal, Discord, um, Slack, other ones, Skype. That's kind of an older one. I don't know if people still use Skype anymore. But I guess Zoom would also count as a communication program here. All of those tools would count as collaboration tools and are software that is included within the collaboration system. Regarding the data, there is, of course, the project data, which is actually used in the work product. Uh, whatever sort of data that you need in order to accomplish your goal, that is going to be the project data here. Then there's also project metadata, so data used to manage the project. That could be things like budget and schedules and uh, lists of things that people are doing, all that kind of stuff could be considered project metadata here. And then we have the procedures, which are the standards, policies, and con techniques for actually conducting the work. So. When are people supposed to complete work? Who reviews whose work? And when do they actually review everyone's work? So all of those procedures all facilitate this um, collaboration. So they're part of the uh, collaborative system. A collaboration information system is primarily meant to facilitate collaboration, and it's going to do that primarily through communication and sharing content. The easier it is for you to talk to the other people in your group, and the easier it is for you to share your work and have other people's work shared to you, the much, the uh, more effective communication is going to be, and the more effective collaboration is going to be. So. These information systems are going to be extremely helpful in actually solving problems. So that is everything about collaboration and collaboration information systems that we're talking about here. Thank you all very much for watching.